quick review on lecture 7 example 4. So on, in this example, really the key feature was to locate your exterior view. So on my screen, I have drawn out all four views. So here, whichever I have in green color, so it includes the two ellipses here on my side view, on my exterior view, this head, uh, head and line, and on my top view, one, two, and three are going to be ellipses. And all other circular feature that is on blue color is going to be a circle. So circles, circles, and so on. So in this example, on your side view, so your first step is will be completing your exterior view and your front view. So after completing your front uh, exterior view and the front view, then you can figure out your side view because this height right here, this height, or in the given drawing, height from this point to down. So this height is not really given. I mean, you can do the calculation, but that's not really the point of this class. So to figure out this height, you would first need to complete the exterior view and the front view. So now on the front view, once you complete, you're going to be drawing the two hidden lines and one center line for the circle. So if you have the construction line, You're going to have one construction line here, two, and three. So these construction lines are coming from the left and the right quadrant of the circle on the exterior view and the center point. Then you now have three new intersections on your front view. One, two, and three. So from these three new intersection points, now we're going to draw horizontal construction lines. So one, oops, one, two, and three. So now if we do, these three construction lines will be used to complete our ellipse on the side view. Now the center point on your front view, this center point is nothing but the centered location on the inclined surface. So from center all the way to that point. So now this point is described on your front view using this construction line. So now from that, we can construct our first ellipse. So we're going to use EL for ellipse command, C for center, which is right here, enter. So we're going to locate our center. And the first radius is always going to be given by the construction lines. In this case, either 0.375 up or 0.375 down. These two distances must be equal. If not, that means you've made a mistake. So now select anyone, anything, any part. And then your second radius is going to be the known radius. In this case, diameter of 1.5 or radius of 7, uh, 0.75. So now I'm going to enter 0.75. And now we're going to have our first ellipse on the side view. So now you're going to use the same method to construct ellipse for this one, the larger one. To construct this, really, you're coming from endpoint and the center point. So these two ellipses should share the same center point and it will end at the very tip. So once you have done that, now you can construct the vertical lines to connect and then complete your side view. In the same technique, we're going to construct our top view. So now, let's draw a vertical construction line. So a vertical construction line will come from one, two, and three. So these three vertical construction lines will go all the way up and then will be used to construct our first ellipse, this guy. So again, this circle is what you saw on your inclined surface with the diameter of 1.5. So this ellipse will be also, again, will be drafted using the ellipse command. So EL, C for center. Again, center point is coming from 
the center of your exterior view. So exterior view center, uh, front view center, and then top view center. So click. Again, the first radius in this case is going to be 0 0.6495, either way, 0 0.6495. Click. And the second radius is going to be the known radius, which is 0 0.75. Enter. So now you have your circle on the upper surface. And now we also need to draw this circle on the lower surface, which is going to locate here. So imagine that you're pulling water, and then the water would enter through this circle, and it will exit out on the circle that is not visible at this point. So for that outlet, we're going to use these three intersections, one, two, and three on the bottom level. So now, if I make my construction line vertical once, one, two, and three, so now these three will be used to construct my outlet. So this I'm going to uh, represent as a hidden line because it's an object line that's not visible. So EL, C, same thing. In this case, 0.866, left or right. And then the second radius is, is going to be the known radius of 0.75. And since these two are connected, we're going to draw a hidden line one and two. And then lastly, this um, ellipse is what we had on the side view as this one. Or really, this half circle. So we're going to use the same technique that uh, what we did on our side view. So again, we would have our two construction lines, one at the center, and then one at the very tip. So these two locations are where the half circle is located in the center point, and then where it ends at the very tip. So now I'm going to use these two construction lines to go all the way up. EL, C, center point, construction line radius, and then the known radius of, uh, what was it, 1.5. Now I'm going to enter 1.5. And there we go. And then simply trim out the part that is not necessary.